Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I filmed a video, so I decided what better way to come back if not with a chit chat, get ready with me. So today I'm using a bunch of new products that I bought within the last month and a half and I catch you up on, you know, what's been going on. So if you wanna see how I got this look and what I've been up to, just keep watching. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. And I really love this primer. I have like a good dent, I don't know if you can tell, yeah. I have a good size dent in this. It doesn't make my face greasy. I feel like it does kind of fill in the pores and overall I feel like it helps my makeup apply a lot better when I it's done. I have purchased a lot of makeup within like the last two months um, and I played up around with some of it and some of it I just haven't opened yet. So, my goal today is to actually use some of the products that I haven't opened and test them out and kind of see if I like them. Um, so yeah. So now I'm going to use this Pixie by Petra um, Correcting Brightening Peach. And this I just recently started using. I used to use a color corrector for dark circles. Um, I like hyperpigmentation from NYX. It was in a pot like this, but I honestly think they discontinued it because I cannot find it at Ulta. And that's where I normally purchase it at. It's not at Walgreens. Can't find it um, on Amazon. So I ended up picking this up at Target just to kind of see how it works. Um, see if it's comparable because I do prefer a pot rather than um, like kind of like the concealer bottle when it comes to correctors. So I honestly use this everywhere where I can have discoloration, and this has been like working great. I really love it. Um, hopefully, it lasts a long time. The pot is a little small, so um, so far so good. I like it a lot. And then with the same brush, I'm going to go in with the NARS um, Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And this is something brand new that I just bought probably like a month ago. Um, this is my first time using it. And I'm going to use the same brush. And I'm just going to use this to cover up underneath my eyes. And when it comes to like, ooh, that looks super right. Um, when it comes to like concealing, like the dark circles underneath my eyes, honestly, I go back and forth between, you know, am I concealing first and then applying my foundation or applying my foundation and then concealing on top of it? Honestly, do whatever feels right that day. And today I feel like concealing before I apply the foundation. And this concealer, I heard a lot of great things about, but I don't know how good it works. Obviously, you can see it's very thick and it's very brightening. I got the color Mustard, which is medium one. So hopefully that's the right color. Um, in person, it looks I feel like it looks good, it isn't too bright, but on camera I think because of the lighting it looks like super bright. Um, but we'll see how it looks once I put on foundation. So I recently cut off my hair, chopped it all off. I cut about 10 inches off, maybe about two weeks ago. And when I initially went in to get my hair cut, I just wanted to trim it. And then when I got there and I sat down, she's like, what do you want to do? I was like, chop it all off. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a lot shorter than what I'm used to. I think the last time I had my hair this short was probably maybe like 10 or 11 years ago. Um, and I have always 
wanted to like cut my hair this short again but every time I went to the salon I kind of chickened out and just went for like shoulder length and so this time I was like you know what let's just chop it all off and see how it goes and if I don't like it hey it's just hair it will grow back so yeah so my hair was up to here so when I measured it um it was about like 10 inches that I cut off and it's a little bit shorter in the back and yeah at first it took a little bit of time to kind of get used to it I was I'm not gonna lie I was really shocked um after she styled my hair just because to be honest I didn't like the way she styled my hair I felt like she made my hair like it was just I didn't like it and so I kept like messing with my hair and just really second guessing my decision but once I got home and I washed my hair and I styled it myself um and then my nerves calmed and I was like oh okay this is cute I can deal with it um so yeah so now I have short hair uh, I'm going to use the NARS soft matte complete foundation and this is new I think I actually purchased it like when it first launched and because I ordered it online I got the wrong color this color is way too light for me it's light 5 Fiji and this was just the color that they recommended off the website so I have tried this on a couple times and I've been messing with it in regards to mixing with other foundations to get my perfect color and I have found the perfect combination with uh, my wet and wild photo focus foundation the dewy foundation now the nars is a matte foundation this one is dewy so when you mix them together they give you that perfect satin um finish and this one is in medium dark so this is my like super tan um well it's tan like it my summer color and so mixing it with the um light five color fiji it gives me my perfect now color so um that's what I've been doing, mixing them together to make it work because the NARS foundation was expensive and it was like $40 and I'm not about to let $40 go down the drain so we are going to make the best of it and I'm kind of glad that I have multiple colors of the wet and wild foundation because it allowed me to find like a color that would match with this so I'm going to be using the uh, It Cosmetic brush this is the airbrush full coverage comp. Whoa, what do It's the A Foundation Airbrush Full Coverage Complexion Brush. And I just recently bought this as well at Ulta when they had a sale. I think it was like 50% off. Um, and I love it cosmetic in general. And their brushes are amazing. However, their brushes are super expensive. So. Anytime there's a sale with It Cosmetics, I try to jump on it and make sure that I get it so that um, yeah, I don't miss out on getting a good brush for a decent price. So, can you see? Like, I feel like this matches me way better. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more so I can cover the rest of my face. So I really like the finish of both of the foundations. I like the dewiness that the Wet n Wild gives me and the soft matte. I will say that it's extremely matte so if you have dry skin I would stay away from it. Um, when I was first playing around with it I don't I have normal to oily skin most of the time it's normal um and i felt like it was too dry it was just like a little bit cakey and i tried it with the brush i tried it with a sponge i even tried to apply it how they recommended on the website with my fingertips i'm blending it in and it was just like not working um so i think if you are super oily you would love the nars soft matte foundation but again if you're normal to dry skin stay away from it just because it's probably gonna look a little bit cakey Okay, so 
feel like it's made my face flawless, but it's a little flat. So I'm gonna go in with, let's see. I'm just gonna go in and bronze a little bit that way and get a little bit of texture or not texture, get a little bit of dimension to my face so it looks a little flat. And I'm gonna use the Aesthetica Sunset Bronzer. I get this in one of my boxy charms and I really, really love the color. So lately I've taken some time off from just filming and just being on YouTube in general. Just because I wanted to focus on myself and my family and with my kids being in school and doing e-learning, that has taken um, a lot of time and a lot of effort. Um, so. I wake up and I am just really focused on making sure everything is set up for them and just honestly focusing on the family. So um, there are days where I just don't have the energy to film. So I just need some time off to enjoy life with the family and really focus on my walk with God. I feel like within these last, I don't know, um, 10 months or so, like me and Papa Dios, me and God have been, we've gotten a lot closer. Um, and I think that if you are a person of faith and you believe in God, and you believe in Jesus Christ, that it's extremely important for you to take that time, dedicate that time, um, and focus on your relationship with God, um, it will definitely help you in your life. Okay. Um, okay, the next thing is this Fenty Beauty Cream Blush, and this one is in Petal Popping, and I have used this a ton. And this color is super pretty. When I first used it, put it on with a brush and I thought that it wasn't going to be opaque enough because on the brush you can't really see it that much but because it's a cream blush when you apply it into the skin it doesn't show up like powder does it really like just melts into the skin and I really really love this blush I like the formula of it so I'm probably gonna purchase some more of these blushes in probably a different color, a little deeper color. See that? So I've really been enjoying this Fenty blush. Okay. The next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put a little bit of setting powder um, underneath my eyes because I feel like it is creasing a little bit, and that's not to say that the NARS concealer is just, it's a bad concealer and it creases. Any concealer I put underneath my eyes typically creases. It's just the how my eyes are, or my, underneath my eyes. So I'm just putting the Laura Mercier, this is what, Translucent Honey um, Setting Powder. And this I've been really enjoying too. I don't see any difference from the original formula, it's just in a different color. And I love the original formula. So, I'm just gonna put a little bit underneath my eyes and press a little bit my nose. So the next thing I'm going to do is my eyeshadow and one of the many things that I purchased 
within this last month was a couple things off of Wet n Wild's website. And this was my first time purchasing from their website. And it was because, sorry, I can't get this open. It's because I wanted to get this palette. This is the Wet n Wild Coffee Cat palette. And it's all browns and gold, you know all the colors that I love and that I gravitate towards. Um, and I think this palette was like $10, if I'm not mistaken. It's such a long time ago, I don't remember how much I paid for it. But um, yeah, let me get this open and I'll be right back. All right, so I was finally able to get this palette open. This is what the palette looks like. And I'm gonna start off with this color right here, which is called Rise and Grind. I have no idea why I'm using this baby brush. Like, super small, but you'll get the job done. So this eyeshadow color is literally like the same color as my lips. So let's go in with this color right here, which is called No Coffee, No Working. I guess that's what it's called. Okay, yeah, so this one you can see a lot more. And this color is really pretty. These colors are like, I love these colors. They're right up my alley. I could have like 25 palettes with the same color theme and I would still buy more. Okay. So even though this brush is not the brush you probably should be using for this, um, it still works as far as like, applying the eyeshadow okay let's see I'm gonna go in with the shade right next to it which is called mean mugging and I'm just gonna put that in the corner and kind of deepen it a little bit more So now I'm just gonna take this fluffy brush and just like blend everything out. The eyeshadows blend out really, really good. I'm really surprised. I can't really recall if I've used Wet n Wild's eyeshadow before. I don't think I have, but for the first time using a palette, I am pleasantly surprised. Right. So the one thing that I've learned about makeup is that there's not one perfect way to put on makeup. Everyone has their own style and their own way of putting on makeup, what they prefer, what feels good for them, and what they like. And I think that if you are someone that loves makeup but feels like you're not good at it or you don't know what to do, practice makes perfect. And um, don't let anybody tell you that you're doing it the wrong way or whatever. Do what feels right and what you think looks good on you. And if people don't like it, oh well, it's your face. So do what you wanna do. 
I don't know why I had to say that, but I feel like I just had to say that because there's so many people out there telling you what they think you should do for yourself. And I think that when it comes to makeup, you do what you want to do. If you want to wear green eyeshadow with purple lipstick and a yellow eyeliner, you do that. If you want to use a sponge to put on your eyeshadow and you want to use your fingers to put on your foundation, you do that. Because that's what works for you and that's what matters. If you look at yourself in the end and you're happy with it, then that's all that matters. Alright, there we go. So, um, I think I'm going to add one of these shimmery colors that are here. I feel like I always go for this one, like a gold one. Should I go for that one? I'm going to go for that one just because I wouldn't be me if I didn't do what feels right. So, I'm going to put this as usual on the center of my lid and then bring it inward. On the same or on the other side on the same part of the eye and this is pretty it looks like goldish but it's also like a copper color and in person it is really really shiny I like it it's kind of coppery like a penny So let's go ahead and blend some more. Okay, so moving right along, I'm gonna put some eyeliner on. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, and this is in Ultra Black. And it's a felt tip liquid eyeliner. So, I like it so far. Uh, I think I have to get used to just using like the liquid eyeliner pen. I'm used to using the um, the NYX like it's not a pen like this. It has like the brush, the brush tip, not the felt tip. So um, yeah, looks good to me. So I will keep using this. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is put some mascara on and I'm gonna be putting on the Essence Lash Princess Boss Lash Effect Mascara. This is a green tube. I think Essence sells a couple different mascaras and they look the same, but the colors are different. And so this one is the one in the green tube. My sister-in-law put me onto this mascara and it is so good. I mean, I think it's like four or $5 at Ulta. I think they sell it on Amazon too, but try it out. You won't regret it. It's very cheap. It's good. All right, so I'm gonna curl my lashes as usual. And I'm using my trusted Revlon eyelash curler that I've had for forever. I think I've had this for like easily over five years and I've never had an issue with it. All right, you ready to see the magic? I'm gonna show you the magic with this. Do you see that? Do you see that? No mascara, mascara. The bomb. Get you some of this Essence Lash Princess Mascara. It's 
the thing I really like about this mascara is it is super dark, so super black. It doesn't clump up my eyelashes. It gives them length and separates them. And that's what I am looking for because I do have long lashes. And so I just need a little assistance on, you know, making them pop. And this mascara does it. So if you haven't tried it, try it out. Do you see that? Whew. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit on my lower lashes. Not too much. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows using my L'Oreal Brow Definer in dark brunette and then also the milk makeup kush fiber gel in dutch can we just take a moment to look at what a difference filling in your eyebrow makes so i have very sparse eyebrows but they are very dark so because they're so sparse, I always, anytime I wear makeup, I fill in my eyebrows just because it makes the whole look look more put together. It, I'm able to kind of define my face a bit more with filling in my eyebrows, but look at what pretty difference it makes. So now that I've filled in my eyebrows, I'm gonna go in with the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Gel. And this is so that I can keep my eyebrows in place, but it's also gonna provide additional definition to my eyebrows. With this, I try to go in as sparingly as possible because I don't want my eyebrows to look too thick or to get all gooey. I just want them to stay in place and kind of comb through those hairs. And I just lightly like comb over my eyebrow hairs and comb them in the direction that I want them to stay. And this brow gel works great. It will keep your eyebrow hairs in, in place. Now normally I would go in and clean up my eyebrows and like clean up here and a little bit here, but today I'm not gonna do that because I don't feel like doing that. So I'm gonna leave them the way that they are. So the last thing I'm gonna do is apply some liquid lipstick. This is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Amazonian. Now, when I bought this, I tried it out right away. And when they say Superstay, this 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 does not come off like you literally have to use um, a makeup remover scrub it i mean it took me a while to get it off so if you're looking for something that is going to stay all day maybelline super stay is probably going to be your go-to i'm gonna put it on but use it as sparingly as possible because i do want the color um, but i don't want it to be so heavily pigmented that it takes forever to come off so i'm gonna try to do this without overdoing it. We're gonna see if it works. Now with this brush, because it's pointed, you can Go in and outline your lips and without like using a lip liner first. So that's what I'm gonna do.
Now I'm pressing my lips together to kind of transfer some of the liquid lipstick. But again, I don't want to apply too much because I know this is going to be a pain to take off. So now I'm going to apply the Ilia Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oil in Only You. And this, because this liquid lipstick is super matte and drying, um, I'm just going to put this lip oil to add some hydration back into my lips. Alright, so this is the look that I was able to come up with using all the new products that I bought within the last month or so. I hope you enjoyed uh, getting ready with me and kind of catching up on where I've been. Um, thanks so much for watching this video. Until I see you in the next one, take care. Bye-bye.